moms of masterbooks i'm summer and while i normally hop on and do videos in my official capacity as the masterbooks academy manager today i'm hopping on in a personal way to share a tip that has worked in our homeschooling journey i know um, if you've been catching any of the lives over in the masterbooks app that you've heard randy and jessica talk about the paper shortages that we're anticipating next year and what that might look like as far as needing to use pdfs but we do get a lot of questions about um, how to use PDFs. Do you print the PDFs? Do you use them on a tablet? Uh, what is the easiest way for families to utilize that? And I was sharing with them about an item that we've added to our homeschooling journey that utilizes the PDFs in a way that I'm comfortable um, and that my husband is comfortable since we don't allow our kids screen time, but we also don't love the cost of always having to print every page when we don't always keep every page. We do record keeping in more of a portfolio manner. Um, so if you have the Masterbooks curriculum um, cumulative record, then that also would be something that you could download into this product and use that in conjunction with uh, printing off pages from your students' work. But I'm gonna walk through some of the options that we have, tell you why I really like this tablet option and then show you the desktop app that I've got as well so that you can see all of the different ways that we utilize this. Um, the first thing is the tablet is actually a remarkable tablet. So many of you may have seen ads, I think they're running them um, in America, like on Facebook or Instagram, lots of different social media options. Um, but the remarkable tablet um, is very similar to those of you that might remember the initial Kindles or Nooks that came out in the paper white. So there's no blue light. And that's one of the reasons that we really um, are okay using this in our homeschool journey. For one, I'm blue light sensitive. And so if I'm exposed to too much blue light at any given time, I can develop migraines. And I've noticed that my kids can be very sensitive to blue light as well. Another thing in our home is that we greatly reduce the amount of screen time. Um, we don't have gaming systems. Uh, we don't um, keep cable except during football season, which many of you probably can understand. And um, then we have tablets that our kids are able to use when we travel or if they're not feeling well, but they do not get access to even in our normal weekly uh, routines. So the one tablet that we do consistently use though is our Remarkable. And the reason why is because I can load our PDFs from Masterbooks and my kids can use this and it still gives them the same tactile input without the blue light that writing on paper does. Um, as you know, and um, you've heard us talk about uh, the whole child developmentally appropriate um, input sensory load for learning the material in a very gentle, approachable way. This still aids in that. It does not detract from it, mostly because you're still using a normal um, pencil shaped a writing instrument and the uh, remarkable tablet has a coating on it that feels like writing on paper. So I'm going to turn it on real quick and show you some of my files. Uh, the nice thing about it is you can organize them. So I have different folders up here that I keep my files in. That's great whether I'm at co-op, whether I'm doing a chore list for home or whether we're using it for homeschool or I'm using it at work. Uh, one of the courses that we've been loving this year is Where Faith Grows. So I'm going to tap on that one and pull it up for you. And you can see one of the activities that my kids have been working on this week was the maze. Uh, my daughter used the calligraphy pen option and wrote the names of the fruit, which are apple, orange, and pear for this activity. And then they took turns tracing through the maze. The nice thing is you can actually erase any of the work as well so they can redo it. So my daughter took a turn and then my son took a turn because this probably isn't something that we're gonna keep for record keeping. However, um, because you notice it's black and white on the screen here, I wanted to show you what, looks, uh, what it looks like when it's printed. As you can see, you have the option to print their work in the full color page as well. So once it's complete, you can add that to your cumulative record or any type of record keeping that you utilize, um, depending on whatever your state laws are. So that's really handy as well. Um, I'm going to exit out of that activity and close this out and show you. The other nice thing about this is it has lots of different templates um, that you can choose from. So for instance, if you're taking any of the music classes, then you have staff paper that you can write um, notes or write song lyrics on. There's also options um, if your student's taking art this semester um, or in the future that they've got different grids that they can draw with 
um, as well as different types of lines. The um, nice thing about the grids is they also include graph paper so that if you're using it for math, especially the upper level maths, um, for a lot of ours that do uh, where you draw a story and then, or sorry, where you draw a picture, well, here's a weekly chart. So you can see, you can also put in your students' weekly assignments and give that to them. Um, another nice thing on the different template options is the storyboard. So they can draw a picture and then write a story as well, which is something that a lot of our language arts utilizes. Um, it's kind of funny that um, as my husband first gave it to me, I wasn't really sure about implementing this, but every week it seems we find a new template or they update and add more options that really fit in to all of our different Masterbooks courses, whether they're the physical ones that you can use through the PDF option or they're the Academy options as well. Um, the other nice thing is when we're waiting for new releases, like catch on to cursive. My son has been waiting for that so long. And, you know, the PDF version is usually available sooner than the physical copy. So you can download that preview and load it into your tablet, your Remarkable, and get started on your course. And then you can print those pages and add them to the physical copy when you get it, if you would like to do so. So there's a lot of different ways that this tablet has helped uh, just make our homeschool room less messy because there's a lot less papers. Um, I'm one of those note takers that has a hundred different notebooks around my house, it drives my husband crazy. So that's probably really why he got the Remarkable to begin with. And that has eliminated a lot of that clutter for us. It keeps a record of everything. It saves what my children are doing. Um, and really the top reasons that I love it for my kids is one, the no blue light. Um, also, all the different templates that they can use and the sensory input that they get because it still feels like they're writing and they're having to grip in a normal way. And then lastly, although it has Wi-Fi access simply to sync with my Remarkable app, there's no way for them to be online watching videos, listening to music, chatting. There's no way that they can get access to any of the normal things that we don't want them to have access to. So that's really nice because it keeps the scope of what they're able to do very limited. And it gives um, me that peace of mind that I can give them the tablet to work on and complete their activities without being concerned that they're going to get a pop-up ad or that they're going to get a video suggestion. Any of those types of things that we noticed when we tried to use another tablet like an iPad or a Kindle that we were dealing with. And so the Remarkable eliminates all of that. And as a mom, that makes me really happy. I'm gonna switch you around now and show you the desktop version so that you can see what that looks like on uh, your laptop or desktop or tablet, as well as you manage the Remarkable tablet. Here's what the app looks like on the desktop view. Most of what you're going to do is actually in the Remarkable tablet as far as navigating or work, uh, get choosing different templates. This is simply to help keep everything organized. Like you can see my files at the top. Um, when I go in to check my kids work, if I don't want to grab the tablet, I can simply log into my app and pull it up and you can see it'll sync to the page that they were on in the tablet last. So you can see what that would look like before you print it or if you just want to check work really quickly. Um, and then you can also, sometimes I find my kids will write me notes. So here's one from my youngest that he wrote the other day. And then I wrote back to him as well, uh, which is fun. And then you can keep copies of your notebooks, your PDFs, your eBooks. You can save these files, download them back to your computer. If you want to keep a backup copy, all of the different um, ways that you can save files are still accessible through the app. But again, most of what you're going to do as far as work is going to be on the tablet. Uh, here's where you would import any of the files that you get. So once you buy them from Masterbooks, you'll download them onto your computer, then simply import them into your Remarkable tablet. I hope that quick overview of how we've implemented the Remarkable tablet was helpful. The PDF file options from Masterbooks are a great option for including in Homeschool Journey for lots of different reasons. If you want to check out any of the PDF files, be sure to do so over at masterbooks.com.